I've been playing with these drawer slides and I think I've got something useful here. Uh, I curved a piece of aluminum and screwed it onto there, bolted it on, and then another piece of aluminum on the other side. And uh, it's a lot more sturdy now and I think it'll be able to hold a lot of weight because this thing has to be able to slide up and down um, with a lot of force on it. I don't know how well this is showing up, but as you can probably see, it's totally pouring here. At least it's slowed down enough that I think you can hear me. But uh, I want to be welding right there, and it's soaking wet, so I'm just going to have to wait till later. But I'll show you what I've got so far. Uh, this is my first part that I think really looks like a robot part. <laughs> so really, I'm not just making giant rabbits. Um, this is, well, this thing slides back and forth and uh, the legs attached to it. Yeah, I'll have to uh, show you more when it's in place. Well, it goes uh, down here on the side. I just have to figure out how to attach it so it won't move. Okay, this may not seem like much, but just getting this to part, this part together is kind of a really big deal because this is one of the parts that wasn't on the little robot and uh, it's like one of the upgrades for this robot and it's actually the last part that wasn't on the small robot that I have to do so pretty much from now on I just have to make copies of all the uh, small robot pieces in other words there's a light at the end of the tunnel I'm out of the dork zone I mean the dark zone yeah so yeah, I'm still uh, totally in the dark zone, even if I'm out of the dark zone. But I did make uh, this piece out of polycarbonate. This stuff's coming in really useful. Um, I'm not entirely sure if it's going to be strong enough, but uh, I used some fancy glue here that's supposedly pretty good. So hopefully it'll work out. All right.